What is up guys, this is Tiro back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Pixel experience ROM. This is based on Android 11 as you can see and this is still an alpha build. Here it says 1.1 GB of size about and this is the 2nd December 2020 build and based on Android R or Android 11 of course. There are some things which are mentioned. This is based on MIUI vendor, has Lineage OS FOD or loss FOD and yeah, the Figment scanner has been pretty great, no issues. First, let me talk about the flashing. Well, it was pretty simplistic just like any other ROM. Like I just wiped cache, Dalvik system data and vendor and then flashed the latest 12.0.3 firmware. Then flashed the ROM file and I flashed the FTP disabler because my storage is decrypted. Let me show you the about section quickly. So here in the Android version, as you can see, this is based on Android 11. If you do this, the security patch is latest of November 5th, 2020. And if we have the stock kernel as perf G kernel and here we have the build number again which says 2nd December 2020 pixel experience Raphael 11.0. Now this is not plus build of the pixel experience ROM. So do not expect customizations at all. Now let me show you the system panel here inside the system updater. You can check for updates from here as you can see. But right now this is the latest build. So it says no updates available. And here inside gestures, we have this gesture navigation. As you can see again, nothing much. You cannot even change this fill bar size over here. Let me go back. We have the three button navigation, but no two button navigation over here. Then we have the prevent ringing, quickly open camera and stuff. Let me go back. We have this pop-up camera LED sounds. You can like enable those. And we have the default keyboard as Gboard. Now talking about the stock camera, as you can see, this is a old kind of Google camera and pretty basic camera in my opinion. Here we can switch the front camera and stuff, but as you can see, it takes time. So a little bit weird, I would say. This camera I don't like, so that is why I have already installed the Google Camera 7. This has been working totally fine, as you can see. This is the Unix version of the Google camera and you can install it. And with this, the other lenses like the wide angle and telephoto lens, both are working great, no issues. Now, let me first talk about who is this ROM actually for? Well, if you're someone who is using MIUI and you are totally bored out of it, I would say if you want to switch to a best like stock Android experience and you wanna try Android 11, then it is the best ROM for you. Because if you're someone who does not like customizations, again, that's gonna be the Pixel Experience ROM right now because this is the newest based on Android 11 and almost I have been using it for about three days now. I would say everything is almost stable and really like awesome experience that you get. But again, no customizations are present over here. Like the double tap to sleep on the status bar, that is not present. Swiping on the status bar where you do this and it adjusts the brightness, those kind of features are totally missing. And even there is no advanced restart option over here just power off and restart. So pretty much everywhere you will find no customizations over here. So if you're someone who likes customizations, this is not for you. Now talking about the home screen again, we have the pixel launcher as the default launcher of course. And to the left, we have this Google's discover page. Swiping down gets you to the notification panel and swiping up gets you to the app drawer. And if you go into the settings, you can disable the suggestions over here, which I have already done as you can see. Other than that, in the quick settings panel, we have this screen recorder. This is the default screen recorder as you can see. And with this, you can record the device audio and the microphone audio at the same time. So this is great. But let me show you, you can add some toggles, but not much options are there. No FPS info or something. Yeah, let me go into the settings now and show you the network settings first. Here inside mobile networks, if you go to advanced, we do have Wi-Fi calling feature. So that is good. Let me show you the stock dialer. So this is how the stock dialer looks like. And as you can see, it says Wi-Fi call. So Vault and Vio Wi-Fi both are working fine. No issues with that. But yeah, this is Pixel 4 dialer or Pixel dialer. There is no call recording option over here as such. In the battery settings, let me show you. There is this turn on the light when charging. This is for the like notification LED, which is present on this pop-up camera right here. So this thing does work without any issues. And there is the battery percentage showing up option on status bar. So that's great. And here you will see the screen on time and the full charge like when you did that. And if you tap here, it does not show you the full battery usage. You have to tap the three dots and then you will see the full battery usage. And in terms of battery life, I would say it's decent. You can see the screenshots. The battery life is great and it does support 18 watt fast charging. No issues with that. 
in the display settings we have the dark theme you can schedule it if you want to then night light option is there of course you can like change the intensity of it then adaptive brightness is there and let me actually scroll down we have this anti flicker mode i have enabled that this is the dc dimming functionality and double tap to wake is there but no double tap to sleep of course inside lock screen we have the always show time and info which is always on display and we have colors set to boosted by default font size display size you can change those now inside styles and wallpapers this is how it looks like and if you want to change the accent colors you can actually do that let me show you there are a couple of fonts over here which you can choose now if i hit next there are a couple of icons too as you can see now let me hit next here you have all the accent colors and yeah that is pretty much all the accent colors that you get i don't even see the proper red one only this one is available so yeah this is kind of orange red so yeah these all are all the accent colors and you can like set a theme and you can choose the icon shapes too if you want to so you can do these kind of customizations now in terms of wallpaper as you can see there are these like come alive section over here then we have this living universe too so you can download these kind of wallpapers over here as you can see there is a download option so yeah you can choose from these many wallpapers then we have the landscape kind of mode there are pretty cool looking wallpaper over here i would say so these are all the things that you get by default and of course you can change the grid size to like up to 4 by 4 or you can leave it to default now let me jump into the sound settings here we have the like vibrate for calls option and here we have the dial pad tone screen locking sound charging sound charging vibration etc then on the bottom we have this me audio direct which sometimes does not open let me show you now it will open i guess yeah and here as you can see i have set it to youth edition and with this the sound quality via the headphone jack and even bluetooth i have tested that working super fine without any issues sound quality is great not a problem but the only thing which is kind of weird i would say there is no screenshot disabling like sound disabling option over here i would say so as you can see right now my phone is in silent mode and let me actually show you the volume panel as you can see my phone is in totally silent mode so here if i take a screenshot as you can see it makes the sound right now so that is how it is right now so you have to keep that in mind whenever you are taking a screenshot it will make the sound and there is an option to disable it i guess inside security we have the fingerprint option but no face unlock or something as of right now or even no app lock right now now let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed here from the always on display let me tap the fingerprint scanner as you can see it unlocks and the brightness just went down for some reason weirdly let me try it again as you can see right now it unlocked again but the brightness is fine now and here as you can see the brightness sometimes does go a little bit weird whenever i'm locking the device let me actually show you if i turn the brightness down totally if i'm locking it okay right now it's fine but from the lock screen let me show you i'm on the lock screen right now and if i press the power button did you notice that brightness like kind of thing i'm on the lock screen now so whenever I tap the power menu, the brightness just increases, then it decreases for the always on display. This is kind of weird, I would say. And let me actually turn up the brightness just a little bit. Now let's try night light. And with that, let me try the fingerprint scanner with night light turned on. And as you can see, it unlocks fine even with night light. And right now I have the DCM dimming mode turned on. And again, for the fingerprint scanner, there is no animations. Let me actually show you from up close here as you can see no animation over here it's just uh, like fingerprint light comes up whenever you tap the fingerprint scanner that's it and google assistant is working fine if you swipe up just like this but if i say like okay google it does not do anything you can swipe up from the corners to get the google assistant that's pretty much working fine but the okay google detection does not work now talking about the general things like the drm info still stays level one over here as you are noticing so no issues with streaming netflix or amazon prime videos internet ap and it also passes the safety net test as you can see so you can use banking apps like google pay right out of the box you don't need magisk or magisk hide to use banking apps on this rom now talking about the ram management let me open some of the files over here and let me i mean some of the apps over here and let me show you the app on speeds and the ram management now let's open play store youtube just notice how smooth the app opening up is over here let me open instagram there was a little bit of like stuttering right now let me open this google home now let's open the telegram app too 
here. Let's just open all these apps from memory. Twitter is in memory, files is still in memory, Instagram is still in memory, Google Home is in memory, Twitter again is in memory, YouTube still in memory. So the memory management I would say is really really great, no issues with the memory management. And here are the end to end Geekbench score of this ROM. That pretty much wraps up this video guys and if you are someone who does not like much customization and if you want to go really a stock android way with like android 11 you can definitely try the latest pixel experience rom right now on the redmi k20 pro working pretty great and the stability is great never faced any kind of random reboots or something those are not the problem over here the only problem i would say about this pixel experience rom which i have faced is regarding downloading this rom and i would say if you are downloading this ROM, just use Chrome. That's the best way to download this ROM. Do not use any software like the ADM or this advanced download manager. I mean, do not use this kind of software. You cannot download, I think, with these kind of softwares because the Pixel Experience ROM's website has a lot of ads and you have to like actually see those ads and like cross it or close it to actually download this ROM from this website. So yeah, just use Chrome to download this ROM without any ad blocks or something. My experience has been great with the Pixel Experience ROM, but yeah, I am someone who likes customization and I can't really like daily drive without the double tap to sleep or the brightness adjustment features, those kind of things. Without those, it's really hard for me to daily drive. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share this video again, if you like the video and that's pretty much it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.